Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is September 1, found on page 252. The title of today's devotion is Seen and Heard. In 1 John chapter 4 and verse 14, it says, And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. As a witness for Christ, John entered into no controversy, no wearisome contention. He declared what he knew, what he had seen and heard. He had been intimately associated with Christ, had listened to his teachings, had witnessed his mighty miracles. Few could see the beauties of Christ's character as John saw them. For him, the darkness had passed away. On him, the true light was shining. His testimony in regard to the Savior's life and death was clear and forcible. Out of the abundance of a heart overflowing with love for the Savior, he spoke, and no power could stay his words. He could testify, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled, of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us, that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. 1 John 1 one through three. So everyone may be able through his own experience to set his seal to this, that God is true, John 3, 33, authorized revised version. He can bear witness to that which he himself has seen and heard and felt of the power of Christ. He can testify, I needed help and I found it in Jesus. Every want was supplied. The hunger of my soul was satisfied. The Bible is to me the revelation of Christ. I believe in Jesus because he is to me a divine savior. I believe the Bible because I have found it to be the voice of God to my soul. How shall we know for ourselves God's goodness and his love? The psalmist tells us, not hear and know, read and know, or believe and know, but taste and see that the Lord is good, Psalm 34, verse 8. Instead of relying upon the word of another, taste for yourself. Experience is knowledge derived from experiment. Experimental religion is what is needed now. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we will read about the power to obey. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think.